Oh, no, no, no. What's... Eh. Are all four channels doing stuff? Uh, yep, 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 yep. If they're highlighted, Colin. we if should they're, if they're, Are they all red? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. There's, wow. there's stuff happening? Bingo. Nice. Bingo. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. Welcome back to the World Genius Show, because we're not calling it the P word, are we? Are we not? I, I like not calling it that. Because I I hate it does sound I like hate bad. peas. So dude, when when uh, when me and uh, Beatrix broke up, she thought it her her one of her epic hinge uh, prompts that she put in to spite me was like, "Don't hit me up if you have a podcast or something." <laughs> Ooh, you know, something that's awesome. like that. So yeah, th- people really show their true colors after you break up. Like that bullshit podcast you do that sucked all along. <laughs> I think she thought up. we were cringe too. Like the whole yep. thing was cringe. Yeah. Or she was just upset that she's not going to be here when the millions start pouring <laughs> in. <laughs> when the when hundreds this, of dollars. When start this room in. is just flooded. When it looks like Wario's world in here, just <laughs> like gold coins all over Johnny's room. She's gonna be like, "Damn it, I should have stuck around." That's, we should get some gold happening. coins. That should be that one be of the sick, first things that a we sick get. Set up. Gold bar, like a, we buy an actual gold bar for the table. Fuck. That would That'd be, be cool. badass. That would be cool. Um, all right, well. Make it even more devastating if we get robbed. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would that, already be pretty that would devastating. Make it worse, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that would make it worse. Yeah, don't rob us. Please. Episode three? Episode three of Episode World three. Genius. Episode the TV three. show. Uh, with the, yeah, that's good. The TV show. Uh, we are super under press this, is this four. week, right? Well, I don't know if you count oh, that yeah. mini one or not. Well, that Wait, one's going to be better than this one, it or seems. The, the other one? I don't yeah, know. Probably. I have something pretty cool planned. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm and uh, Pretty sweet plan. Before we get into anything, let's just thank our uh, our sponsor, mm. Ranch Spirit. Yes. Ranch Spirit. All your alcohol needs in the Orange County area, go over to Costa Mesa, Right next to Irvine Ranch Market, go pick up some booze. Tell them World Genius sent you, and they'll give you a good deal. Twenty-five percent off. Love them. Yes. Yeah, they're great. Please go, because nobody's Please go. going. No one's. If you if you guys don't start going more, they're gonna cut us off. There's there a you. lot of people going. They're just none of them are World Genius fans. Yeah. Well, it's busy as hell yeah. when we're in people there. People like the business. It's they a good need spot. to sponsor us. No. Yeah. But they they're, are they're because pretty... they believe in what we're doing here, and we believe in them. We do. We do. It's like a. Those it's like a good. It's a good mutually beneficial yeah. partnership, but we're not really yeah, we benefiting. We're them. like the small fish next to the whale right now. <laughs> Dude, the analogy king has spoken. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're like. We're oh. like the. Uh, wait, are the? Is that what? No, we're like the things that live in the whale teeth. There's not small fish next to the whales, right? Like That's plankton? near sharks. Are we plankton? Is that what you're saying? I think things live Grill? in whale teeth. What do they call them? Minnows? I don't like those whale teeth. I don't like them either. It looks like hair. <laughs> yeah, that shit's... I don't really know what that is. Dude, this, is a, <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> Whoa! What do, you, what do you call those things that live in whales' teeth? No, do you no, like whale needs, teeth, man? Someone needs like a Joe Rogan you're ass. No I don't have teeth? that much of a developed Take opinion Take a stance, your silence is right, violent. No, somebody <laughs> needs to talk about... <laughs> well, uh, relax, Johnny. You're getting a little close there to current events. Let's I not... was watching uh, Post Let's Malone not. on the Joe Rogan podcast, <laughs> and he just immediately goes straight into like animal yeah. talk. Yeah. He's like, did you know sharks are older than trees? I'm like, yeah, we all saw that fucking YouTube thumbnail, asshole. <laughs> Sharks are older than trees? Like evolutionarily. That's what they say. Why? I don't really? know if I believe any of that shit. I don't believe I don't buy it. That would Not be the bit. type of thing that would make me believe in God when yeah. the people around you are starting saying like sharks are older than trees. I'm like, that ain't in the fucking Bible, goddammit. <laughs> Uh, my Bible's making a, a lot more sense you, than what you, the you, scientists are saying. Uh, shark trees, they probably was some sort of underground, like uh, you know, like Greenery, but underground greenery. I just want to, dude. I don't see, know. It's yeah. pretty yeah. lame that Post seaweed. Malone probably oh, yeah. studied for the pod. I know. I hate that. It's He's like, probably like, like, let me look up like twelve 
cool animal facts yeah. to come to Joe Rogan with because I yes, have nothing to that say. That is fucking the worst thing ever. And <laughs> I fail safe. I feel like he felt like he was doing really good. He's like, I'm like holding my own with Joe Rogan right now. <laughs> and we're talking about fucking sharks. Like this is this Joe is going Rogan way better than thought. all of that shit yeah. already. This is peak Joe Rogan right here talking about sharks. Yeah, he's like, Joe, imagine a shark smoking a blunt. Oh. Joe Rogan's like, I've thought about that already. <laughs> Reggae times. shark. Reggae <laughs> shark. You do you remember that? Uh, Reggae shark. What is that? There's from? a video that I I found a, a while ago, and it's a song about a Reggae Rastafarian shark. shark. Reggae shark. Oh. That's a good song. What do you think he did before trees? <laughs> oh shit. He was just yeah. vibing. Dude, I'm having fucking mic stand yeah. troubles over here. Ooh, um, that's wait embarrassing. Wait up, wait up. I'm pulling a Colin. More good news. What? Um, I don't know what the previous good news was, <laughs> but there's more. Um, Ozempic <laughs> is apparently bad for you. Woo! That's bad news. No, it's not. Jonah Hill used it to get skinny. We hate Jonah okay, Hill. Okay, but that's a dip. We actually, no, it's good news because he was cooler when he wasn't skinny. No, but it's well, it's, probably, it's bad that, news for the current version of Jonah Hill, which is good. Which is I, yeah, I'm having a hard got, time figuring out what kind of news this is. If even if he got fat again, it wouldn't be good for us. I think it might be. It, well, it actually, might put it would things be back into perspective. I think he's like neurotic and skinny and all hopped up on bullshit. Have you seen his clothing line? No, we should look at it. Well, I could. We could definitely. We, we could should definitely look at it now. Pull that up. Excel. We should, we should probably XL actually yeah, turn just, on the yeah. TV. Here, let me do it. And then we can airplay. But um, yeah, he's got like a clothing line where he's like doing a parody on like enlightened guru style stuff. But oh, it's no. not, it's like, not like prayer bead kind of vibe. It's not like reading as a pair. It's like supposed to be a parody, but it's just like the same exact design as every other kind of, uh, I don't know, every other kind of. Um, like current, you know, graphic design uh, trope is doing. Should we take like a 30 second break and get this figured out? Yeah. Because I also might want to turn on OBS on the computer okay. to uh, record. Well, or we can just start over. Or... Jonah oh, Hill yeah. oh. clothing oh. line. Type in Jonah Hill clothing line. Here we go. Canceled Reddit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a thing? It, that was the first search thing. Uh, existence brand. Meaning, uh, type in that God. then Jonah Hill meaningful existence. Are you feeling on the spot while we watch you try to spell stuff? We might just need to go to images. Lifestyle and wellness brand. Yes, but it's like he's parodying it. Like, go to that uh, one of them sitting courtside. No. Yeah, it's supposed to be like it's it's so cool that this the website's not even there anymore. Like, look, they do like the gradient with a shitty font on the like. Yeah. I'm just, everything that is like pretending to be ironic, but is actually just lazy. I'm so glad all that stuff is failing instantly now. This like design something actually well. where you try. That would be pretty Hate cool. That. Instead of just like it looks like Zoomy's core. You know, it's bad too because this would have been cool in Costa Mesa like six years ago. You know. This. I love listening to your brain decide what number it's going to fall onto, Johnny. Yeah, it, well, he he always gets it right. He always Six years it. ago. I six think six years ago. Uh, yeah, so I hated I hated that. That's, um, God I remember, damn, I get so mad looking at his spaghetti hair. Dude, He he's tragic. He's, he's a tragic man. He's a tragic case. I defended him once. Because I was trying to attack somebody else. Oh, and I, was make, <laughs> I was making fun of Mikey Alford, and Mikey Alford questioned Jonah Hill's judgment. And I was like, don't you believe in Jonah Hill? He's been in the movie industry for ages, and you want to you wanna question him? And then, like, I don't know, like three months later, Jonah Hill like put out that, uh, that movie. Uh, what is uh, it? The, uh, you you people? people? Yeah. God, dude. That A fantastic did. film. Can't believe that. If you're uh, an idiot. Yeah, but anyway, um, we should probably not Jonah Hill it too hard. This That's episode. all that they Anyways. have, though. Is that thing that? Sh uh, yeah, I mean, shirt? I don't think the webs. I don't think it's up and running. I think it died. I hope so. I, no, I think it died fast. It was like a cult. It, he was doing a cult spoof while he was like on his big wave. 
his big wave of his <laughs> name being out there. Jonah Hill produces a big wave. His manic high, yeah. His his manic episode. Um, yeah, I don't. That's almost doesn't even. It's what sucks is it like. I don't know when so, some celebrities have manic episodes. Like it's kind of cool sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like if you have an like, like Britney Spears had some yeah, iconic like manic episodes. That was That's really cool. sad actually. Well, no, I was talking about when she shaved her head. That was like a pretty important moment in co- pop culture history. Yeah, yeah. Even though she went crazy afterwards, it's like, you know, I was thinking about that. If you imagine that moment in 2023, like a celebrity woman shaving their head, like nobody would care at all. It would be probably considered yeah because like, Britney powerful. already did it. Or something. That's what I'm saying. Is like that was a big deal. You know, yeah. she was she was a risk taker back in the day. Um, but that was like an iconic episode. That's what they're gonna say about Kanye. Well, he's had some iconic <laughs> episodes, and then he's pushed a little too far from time to time. Yeah, he's but he's also joke. had some cool moments yeah, too. The, uh, um, yeah. I was just saying, comparatively, Jonah Hill's meltdowns are not iconic. Yeah, no, they're just sad. They, it's 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 very it's really depressing when it's like I'm in my most vulnerable like psycho creative state right now. Like anything goes for me. Like I don't even just, give a shit anymore. And then you just produce mediocrity. <laughs> That's not, not. I'm uh, so free to do what is truly in my soul yeah. and what's truly in his soul sucks. Like it, 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 <laughs> it, no. it would be very He's running from his true self because he's ashamed of mm. his past. Well, I, I'm like True. scared of that. I'm like, if I ever did psychedelics, I like dropped acid, then I was like, I'm just going to let myself go wild in the studio <laughs> and like just see what sort of demented images I, I, I produce, like, you know, with a c- canvas and a paintbrush. And then like I wake up the next day and it's just like really average shit that I've made. It's like I'd- bar stool merch. <laughs> That would be cool if I did acid then painted barstool merch. He's just a perfect like replica of the barstool logo on oh, canvas. That would be tight. from memory. Somebody should oil paint some barstool merch. It would be funny to be cool. do like YouTube thumbnail or like our uh, yeah, just replicate YouTube thumbnails on. That stuff. would be pretty good. That would be pretty good. Just, There's, people are doing oh, stuff wait, that's that, kind of like that now, dude. That would actually probably sell is like someone just really masterfully oil paints Mr. Beast thumbnails. That would be good. I was thinking maybe like a uh, a massive grid of every video Moist Critical's ever done. So mm-hmm. when you're like, but it has to be huge. Yeah. So when you're far away, it just basically looks like you know a, a standard like pattern with yeah. uh, rectangles but then when you get close you can see each individual thumbnail It'd somebody have to took be the massive. time to paint that that would be beautiful that would be a beautiful thing and then he'd make a video about that <laughs> and then so, you could add that you could predict <laughs> him making a video about you painting his thing and then you could add that before and then you could be like i predicted this video you could that probably would be cool. ai generate you could probably use ai to figure out what <laughs> it's gonna look like. I mean, if you plug in all the other information. You could probably get a pretty accurate read of what what his thumbnail is gonna be and title. He's one of the only people that I know of in real life where I think it would be almost indistinguishable whether it was actually him or a computer. Yeah, because he's pretty much like running on like a, a pre-programmed thing already. Yeah. You all right, Colin? You need some uh, What do you think here's about? What, here's what's going on with me, guys. I've been wondering why I'm so off my game. Um, didn't have work today. So I went to the morning, the Friday morning jujitsu class. And uh, it was like a three, there's only three dudes there. Me, this other guy, and Buffalo. <laughs> the hell's Buffalo? And Buffalo's <laughs> like a 250 pound steroid probably on steroids a u.s marine vet and he's like a third degree black or a fourth degree black belt and he's like training for jujitsu worlds right now and he like just fucking choked me out like 19 times (laughs) we did we we did like a 30 minute rolls and if you like really were to zoom in on my face right now my face is not looking it looks a little bit raw but uh yeah my brain my brain just my I've had circulation cut off to my brain approximately thirteen to eighteen times, and yeah, it's just 
I, I, Drink some I don't even know time. how to talk. You don't anymore. want any uptime? The uptime will yeah, help this you. This uptime will set you straight. Does it have any uh, brain benefits? Yes. Yeah. Probably. Dude, tons of mental, physical. <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gift time, gift time. Gift time? All right, let's do these gifts. Oh, so One more thing. Oh, sorry, I'm oh. sorry to I've, stop I'm this. never going to get to these The people are going to say, why, call, why did Colin say Ozempic is bad for you? Because we kind of <laughs> just like, like oh, we went just, right by, like we got, squirted. We didn't we make me cite any by sources. Jonah Hill. Somebody all said yeah. Jonah Hill yeah. and we all went berserk. <laughs> yeah, um, so I used to be into stocks and I follow these Indians on Twitter. I just saw one say, this is bad for Ozempic. And it was just a, a graph that said, like, oh, it deteriorates your uh, muscle or something oh, like that. Oh, no. And that, well, and that I would uh, have... when you stop taking it, you lose all the benefits and mm. it doesn't help with your heart or anything. I would. Oh, that's weird. Uh, I, well, I, I would rather have muscle deterioration than be a great big fat guy. I mean, I feel like I'm not really that surprised that the thing that makes you lose weight isn't good for your muscles. Yeah, really. That seems like it'd be normal. It gets rid mm -hmm. of the muscle group that's like really hard to build, allegedly. Mm. Oh, really? What? Yeah. So like something that you build like when you're like on infant yeah, or something? something like it's like you can't turn your head anymore when <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> you take too much Ozempic. In my opinion, Trump is just looking around you're like just like this. Am I right? Because I don't know. Is your neck muscle? I, I I I don't have any sources. It's say. fine. I, I dude, believe Ozempic it. stocks. Plummet? The bio uh, stock market shit. It's going down. So that's good news for us, maybe. Big win for us because big L for Jonah Hill. It's and not Post good. Malone potential. I feel and like you are, are most too. likely to be on Ozempic, Colin, at mm -hmm. any point in your life. Yeah. I feel like you... the fattest? No. Well, you... That's not what I was saying, but I'm saying... I'm the saying, most likely to be diabetic? No, I'm saying you... You'd... You kind of will believe a lot of stuff. Like you, you health fad wise. Like you did saying, buy like, into this bio show. stock thing. That was kind of that. the bio they stock was the awesome. Bio stock shit it was, cool was until, until it wasn't. I until, made a until Biden made, was in office. <laughs> I, was think, I think I made <laughs> I made like thirty thousand dollars off the bio stock Indian Twitter guy following. That is cool. Yeah, that I think awesome. that guy has. I, I check in on him sometimes. It seems like he's not doing too yeah, well. Yeah, he's probably uh, lost a lot of. You got out at the right time. Maybe I just got lucky. Yeah, I think you got lucky. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's people in crypto. They're like, dude, crypto's the shit. I made a lot of money. It's like, yeah, because yeah, you fucking kind of. Everybody made a lot out. of money. I followed the right Indian guy at the right time. We That's have all Indians. you can ever ask for, really, we have in Indian life. Guys. Is it the right Indian man is presented to you when you need him most and he doesn't let you it down. happens once for everyone in their <laughs> life and if you miss it you're fucked oh my god uh, I'm still waiting on mine dude he'll come to me when I need him that's pretty cool your sister took advantage of the situation <laughs> <laughs> my sister and now I'm I'm an Indian it's true and it's pretty cool speak all right enough of these all right. games all right Somebody was pissed. They were so, so ready to see this. I was ready to see this too. Here we go. Let me take it out of the. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. I got three colors. Okay. Uh, and part, of, part of this. Cloaks. Cloaks. Part of this is we're gonna have to decide who gets what color. So obviously the red one is the flashiest. I already okay. tried on the black I one. I like the green a lot. I'm Let's... gonna say something real quick. <laughs> Johnny's sitting in a very dark chair. No, I don't. I don't want the red one. The red I, one might pop out. I don't want the red one. So this is. I mean, they're they're full size. Oh my gosh! Cool. I got them from Etsy. Beautiful, hand woven. Well, they came in a plastic bag. You go. <laughs> don't hand me Just the red. Just try it on. It's so, gonna look wait, good. Okay, so let's let's talk. We, I mean, I like black. I think we need the to, green is beautiful. We need to talk about each other's personalities, and then we can decide which. I don't like that. I'm even holding the red. Okay, one. well, mm. well, okay, let's okay. make this a democratic process. You know. Mm. All right. All right. Let's all. We should Andrew, all. Andrew, did I get one? I forgot about Andrew, and I was ordering them. To be honest, but oh, I can get yeah. you one, Andrew. They, they ship quickly. Um, is there another color? There are other. There's a purple one that I think might be pretty nice. Purple is Andrew's color. Dude, that. Let me take a photo so we can insert that into the pod. But that is a pretty gnarly looking one. 
Holy shit, you look cool. Okay, so who do you think should get what color, Colin, in your opinion? I'll take black. Oh, really? <laughs> You'll take black. Why do you think I'm you deserve the, black? The blackest guy here. <laughs> um, <laughs> as far as vibes go. Because I was thinking you were red. I am an I, Angels fan now, so this I could <laughs> wear this to the Angel game. I envision Colin and red. My thing is that I really don't wear red, though, since I was 12. Okay. It was my color. When I was 12, I remember vividly, I would get a haircut. I'd look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, this is just wrong. And then I would put a red t-shirt on, and suddenly the haircut didn't look so bad anymore. So, I felt comfortable. But I that's how I feel Goog. now with black. We should ask Goog. I think we should, but I was going to say, realistically, okay, if we, were, if we were all wizards... I think you set yourself up to be the green one. And you bought them, so I mean, well, you wore a I green T-shirt today. I took the black one out of the package, so what does that say about my intentions? Uh, you oh, just listen, I'm just, to I'm trying. This part of this appeal, what I wanted to bring with these cloaks, is I wanted to drum up a discussion about each other's personalities and which color aligns with our personalities the most. Now I realize the red, the red didn't look quite that red <laughs> on the internet. It's if a little it was more like red a maroon, than I thought. Yes. I would be more into it, I, but this is Fire Engine Red. Is <laughs> <laughs> the great Fire Engine Mage. Uh, yeah, it's, well, you could be like a, you could be a mage that like was, fire. that well, or that like put out fires so that you call the fire mage um, to put out your fires or the water mage yeah. that wears red. Well, the other problem with this put on the hood. Put on is the hood. that it's Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. It's not a super tough... Hood. Ooh, it's got ears. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, that looks pretty sick. I mean, they're they're not the cheapest cloaks. They're decent quality. All right, here you be black on. You guys aren't answering any of my questions. I was all okay. excited to hear your answers about okay. this. Yeah. You guys are just well. I'm me just nothing. upset that I'm stuck with the red one. You're not. You're not. If you can talk your way out of the red, <laughs> then you don't have <laughs> you to wear try it. on the red. All you guys have said is, oh, yeah, that looks cool. I said I think Colin should be the red. Well, that's just rude. Colin's the, <laughs> Colin's the angriest of us all. Colin's the strongest Colin's and the angriest. Colin's not a red guy at all. Guy, I think... Try on the cape. Try it I, on. Okay, the problem is, is I think the red makes the most sense for me, for sure. Oh, you think? Why? Because it's kind of like... You're uh, kind of of like royal a, blood. A traditional vampire vibe. And yeah. I, of... of that, wow, that does look I pretty like, good think, on you, Colin. Oh my god, <laughs> that does look pretty good. I do think Colin is probably a black cloak guy. If he was to wear a cloak, it would probably be black. But the green probably. is beautiful. The green is nice. Huh? Well, Colin probably yeah would. See, green, green Colin would also they, look good in. My but. girlfriend claims that green's my color, but I'm not comfortable in green is ever. The green one shorter? Oh no, 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 but no, it's good. Okay. Um. Okay, so I mean, you were right, Johnny. Obviously, I, I or uh, Colin. Obviously, I'm green. <laughs> I'm obviously green. green. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I was lying earlier when I was acting like it was up for discussion the whether or not I was like green. Is like a beautiful, like Lord of the Rings vibe too. It's kind of like, like a like a hot elven girl would yeah, wear one yes, of these. Exactly. Um, uh, the red only a. Uh, a, like a seven year old with like <laughs> you know dude I used to run around in like a Batman costume with like no such... pants on yeah and I, then like I'm, that's like a seven year old wearing nothing but that cloak type of thing yeah. running around in the backyard it's that color red I, I had a beautiful cape when I was a kid it was like a vampire style cape but it had red lining it, it was black but it had red lining on the inside with like rose Sick. pattern yeah, that's nice. It was beautiful. I mean, we could take these things to get upgraded, probably. We can yeah. splice them into thirds. <laughs> we could find a, a, a seamstress. Yeah. Or we could take them to, like, men's warehouse and get them to put some some sick lining on the inside of them. You can put some patches on that thing. I also, Red, I feel like, a, what is it, the Imperial Guard in fucking Star Wars? That was cool. When Yeah, when I was eight, that was cool. The red is the worst during one. the it season is finale. The red is the worst one. Yeah. And I applaud I just, you, Johnny, for just, accepting the red. Well, Do you want to see it on? Out me? of us, it makes the most. I still sense. think Colin is the reddest of let's, us all. Let's try it on Colin. Like, let me look up. Actually, let me look up the 
like the adjectives that are associated with the color red. Passion. Passion. Colin's passionate. Colin's what? passionate. Let's see. Um, red mean the red the spirituality. Red feels let's like see the the least uh, nice as well. It, the quality feels significantly worse. Well, I think it was the same price. Okay, first one, positive symbolic meaning of red. Passion, sensuality, energy, stimulation, activity, sex. These are ba these are so activity? None of those sound like me. <laughs> it does not look good on Colin. <laughs> Let me see you going. Look at me. Let me see you. <laughs> he looks cool. <laughs> you look good in the black, Johnny. You look proper in the black. Johnny's, or Joe's just trying to stir things up here. <laughs> I don't think I can. Phys I'm physically capable of being col comfortable he in the looks color like red. Big red riding. Look, see, Johnny knows. <laughs> Let me try the red then. Maybe I'm the red guy. Let me try the red. I, try the green. I think we should all try at least one on. Oh shit! Sorry, I kind of was thought that this was the end of the line, and I gave it a good knot. Oh, Here. Um. How do I look, boys? Oh, that red or that green one is. I think it's inside out, Johnny. No, it's not. Yeah, it it's. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm not. I'm not feeling too terrible in this red. Wait, this this one doesn't have. They, none of them have sleeves. No, no, no. It's just a, a cloak. Day. Yeah, just a cloak. This this one is like a really childlike red, <laughs> but I'll wear the red. I will. I am brave enough to wear the red. The green is like luxurious. Yeah, the green. Like, the green I think is is feels like the beautiful. nicest quality. Well, well I've I, never seen just, anyone wear a cloak like Colin is wearing his cloak right now. I just associate the man spreading in a cloak. <laughs> I just associate the green with like Lord of the Rings. And it, it looks, I it's feel steezy. I feel great. Like I'm about to go on an adventure. So what inspired one, this, Joe? What inspired this? Well, first I was, I'm going to be a vampire for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So I was perusing for, cause I was like, I'm going to build, I'm going to build it from the ground up. I'm not going to order a kit. Yeah. I'm going to find each individual piece that I like. And I'm going to construct like the ultimate vampire costume that is perfectly suited to my desires. Um, and I saw these capes or these cloaks and I was like I, I'm going to get one of these for myself then I was like it would be cool if I got three instead of one so that we could all wear one while we were sitting here because I am I keep trying to get these guys what I feel like we did very well on that first episode is we we got out of character a little bit or we got into character a little bit out of our normal selves and we were wearing blazers and sunglasses and we were getting a little wacky you know I feel like it makes it easier to be silly when you're not dressed as your your normal self all the time. So basically, I'm f imposing costumes Ooh. on you guys. That was my idea. I can do once a month. What costumes. say you to this proposition, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll agree to costumes like once a month. Mm. Dude, you are. I'm look perceiving you entirely <laughs> differently now, Colin. That you're in that black cloak. Like. You, well, when you said, uh, I'll do costumes once a month, usually I'd be like, Colin's such a boring little bitch. But now, since you're wearing that cloak, I'm like, Colin is wise. Costumes <laughs> once a month would be good. It would be smart only to do costumes mm, once yes, per month. too much of a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> costumes need to be special, you know? I agree. Like uh, in the, I feel special. In construction. In this red. We do have costumes, believe it or not. Special red. On Friday... What? On Fridays. Is that what you skipped? You like didn't have your 10, costume ready? 10% of dudes on the job sites wear Hawaiian shirts with construction vests over them. At, uh, across like all construction sites? No, nah, usually if you're at a good site. Wait, really? Yeah, there's like a Hawaiian like a thing? shirt. Hawaiian shirt with the with the safety gear over it. Dude. It's like a cool that's vibe. That's so awesome. If you're a construction wife, that's such an easy thing to get your husband with. Like on Friday, he's leaving the house like, you look like a it is fucking just so idiot, a, Greg. It is so adorable when you're like co-workers like dressed up in a Hawaiian shirt on a Friday. That is nice. 
We're busy dorms. That's like, also if you get caught drinking on the job site on a Friday and you can't really fault the guy in a Hawaiian shirt for drinking, you know? <laughs> That's like kind of a get out of jail free situation, I think. Yeah. You are Heineken Green. That's your wizard name. Heineken Green. They call me Heineken Green. That's pretty sick. Bring me a case of beer and I'll grant you one wish. Okay, let me consult my uh, my topics here. I have got... You got something? Uh, something, maybe. I, I have something, too. I Patreon sent me a funny email. Mm. Um, the website itself? Uh, yes. Would you? I don't know if you guys would be interested in hearing about this. Yeah. Yes. But they they invited me to their festival that says, "Hey, gifted hater, being <laughs> being a creator is incredible, and <laughs> rewarding, and Ooh. really really hard." And I was like, "Geez, <laughs> dude, imagine reading that and believing it. Yeah. You're like sitting in your your little room, like with the bullshit like hexagonal light up <laughs> things behind your gamer chair, and you're wearing like little." Um, cat headphones and you're like it is being hard being a creator I think it's easy and then like after five years you develop like a great depression right? it sometimes doesn't even take that long <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it can happen before that um, anyway it said it's a lot and you deserve space to step outside all the edits and the emails and the final v2 revs not really this time underscore v3s and, and take a breath fiver Indians <laughs> what was that uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> <Get it. laughs> oops. Um, anyway, they I'm said, I'm invited to come do that and so much more. Introducing Creator Fest, a one day only celebration of creativity in all its forms happening in and around City Market Social House in downtown LA. Anyway, so I thought they were sending me like an invite because I'm like a patreon creator yeah. you know i'm like maybe i'm somewhat valuable to them so it says tickets register here i click the link they want you to buy tickets they want me to buy they not only they want me to buy tickets it's 75 dollars for general admission and then it's creator uh, early access you 50 dollars. i have to register today but i thought that was crazy i was like these people take eight percent of my gross revenue per yeah. month and then they want me to come to their creator fest and, and give pay. them $75? So it's like their attempt at like TwitchCon kind of I vibe? don't know. I Maybe think, something, I think it is. something like, like that. You should go. I think all, all these, I was all these by content it. creators love these like TwitchCon, VidCon things. Yeah. Just because it like is they're losers an ego. and they get yeah. pussy finally. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was I was about to say it like extrapolates their online presence into real world yes. presence. Yeah. But Colin said it best. Yeah. <laughs> they can get pussy finally. <laughs> yeah. That's just that black cloak versus red cloak type to shit, dude. Wow. You're thinking about them making so love. Wise. I'm thinking about pussy. You're thinking about saying fuck. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, that I don't know. That the red cloak doesn't think about what he says. The black cloak has thought about it for ages. The black cloak speaks plainly. The red cloak is always disguising his words with fancy uh, bullshit. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, we could all go in what our cloaks. What you should do, Jova, is you should wear, for the costume, you should wear the black cloak. And then when somebody underestimates your power, you remove it and then you're the red cloak. I don't know if the red cloak is more powerful okay, than the we'll, black we'll cloak. Okay, we'll figure out what the order of I power is, I feel and then like, you can uh, do the Gandalf move. I feel like red cloak is obviously least powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look powerful. Red cloak is like it's level so seven. Bad, it's man. like a it's like a blue belt type of like beginner whoa, thing. Whoa, 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 it just, whoa, whoa, like he's whoa, still whoa. on his red cloak. You could have yeah. selected like uh, any. Not you, but the person yeah, make, well, picking the fabric <laughs> could have gotten any other color. I mean, red. it'd probably work. If I were a girl, I'd be pretty stoked on this. Yeah, so, um, for this Indian wedding, I had to go get like fit for like wow. an, an Indian <laughs> suit. No, this is along the same lines. Okay. You get to go. It's like epic embroidery costumes, <laughs> like stretchy, baggy How the pants. How did I end up in the red cloak? You, we, we should all go get Indian fits 
and for we, next you, week we can't you're the only one who can no i gotta connect no i know but we can't just wear indian stuff unless we have a That's reason true. to you're the only one who's allowed because you have a, an excuse to wear an Indian style. Well, we outfit. can embrace other cultures. I think maybe. I, I don't, don't know think if that's they allowed. see it that way. I don't know if they uh, see it that way. You yeah, have been waiting right. to grow dreads, though. Fuck. Colin, Indian, full Indian I tried. suit. I need to get another Did you ever try and make to a... marry a Jamaican guy. <laughs> when you were, well, uh, there's only did one you ever, sister like, left. Try and twist a dread and create a dreadlock yes, when you were yes, a kid. Yes, one hundred percent. Did you get close? Yeah, I had one dread. My mom got pissed. <laughs> really? Cut it out. Yeah, she cut it's it. Like, what are you on dope? I really wanted dreads for like six months, dude. I and did... I, in my opinion, oh, you, that shouldn't be too. something that's deprived of a young boy. Of a yeah, of a thirteen-year-old. No, that would have been like a shame. In my why? Yeah, I would have I looked like my mom protecting regret. me. Yeah. From dreads? Yeah. I mean, they're pretty... Well, I don't know what I should say here, but... Uh, they're... I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe not for 13 years. I wasn't boys. allowed to have a mohawk. Really? I would, every oh, time I'd go I get a haircut, one, but every time I'd get a haircut, a I would say, can I get a mohawk? <laughs> and then my mom would start, only this high and don't shave the heads. The, That's the bullshit. Sides. I and then bullshit. not in the back, and a then faux hawk. Yeah, and then every time I'd get a fucking 2006 style faux hawk. That's kind of sick, and it sucked. <laughs> you should be able to have a mohawk. Oh, that's why I just don't do haircuts anymore. Actually, I do. Does anyone st- other than lesbians still rock the faux hawk? Doug Polk. Mm. Oh yeah, Doug Polk. He well, rocks who the hell hell is a picture that? of Doug Polk. He's a he's a, oh, um, he's a poker guy. Poker he, content creator. If I, I mean, that's probably good. He still rocks a faux hawk. Yeah, he's got a faux hawk. Is that a faux hawk? Yeah, that's he's what a faux hawk is. He is a faux hawk as fuck. That's the style of faux. That's like, he looks like a like a that's like the, a video game character. Yeah, like it looks like a bud. a Japanese video game studio made a white guy. That okay? Did you see that comment on that grotesque singer that we like? Someone said this looks like an American. That you remember the guy that uh, is disgusting, deformed guy, white. Oh, wh- how they get their hands on that? Did you but, post something about that? I don't think so. But someone commented that same thing. This looks like a Japanese uh, rendition of a white guy in a video game. Dude, no, it doesn't. They're hot usually. Everybody in Japanese video games is hot, from what I've seen. Not the white guys. They look all. Really? They look all. Um, like, are we pissed about know. that? No, I don't care. All right, it would not, they wouldn't uh, like it dude, if we did it in reverse. I don't think. Actually, a lot of the people in Vinland Saga are super hot, which is a and it's Vinland. An, yeah, it's. Are an we still op- get on Garage? Yeah, look at Andrew? look at Vinland Saga uh, characters. That shit is so. Yeah, badass. I, I want to see this. That the this is a um. Is that supposed to be an ugly white guy? No, He's this perfect. Is, no, this is a <laughs> anime about Vikings. It's oh so God. fucking badass. I don't even think I can tell the it, difference I between a white guy I and an Asian. I, I, I feel a, like I have a, told you about this. Or a Japanese well, guy in an anime. you told me about it at least two times. All right, guys. Where do they draw ugly white guys what? in anime? I don't believe I, I, this. I can't think of one offhand. Anime ugly white guy. There we go. Andrew typing it up. <laughs> um. Okay, well, that's just... Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> one Piece vibes? Don't. Like this. Uh, just look up white guy in anime. I think, uh... Like, <laughs> this is they just look like white hair. Like yeah. No, this anime is just character. white hair. That's a normal white guy to me. I don't think there's any difference between a white traditional hair. anime and a white oh, anime Oh, American guy. in anime. There we go. They That's look pretty cool. fucking cool to me. Look how they did that guy. That guy's sick! That is... Yeah. That yeah. guy's awesome. Be more like that. That guy's not very cool. Yeah. That looks like a Japanese guy who got surgery. Top five anime <laughs> Americans. To look like an American guy. <laughs> that guy's pretty cool. That guy does look like him. That though, looks right? like. Go back to that one on the Holy left. Top guacamole. five. That looks like they. Yeah. That looks like they tried to insult an American guy, but made a really cool looking guy <laughs> on accident. <laughs> Try to insult us by making it. Okay, but okay, guys, we're watching Friday Night Lights and Vinland Saga now. Uh, I don't think I can watch anime, dude. Dude, Vinland Saga is about Vikings. It's badass. Um, yeah. Oh, but it sure. is about 
the English kind of getting. Boned, I just don't by. watch anime Ooh. though. What? It's, oh wait, I'm British. Duh, I yeah, gotta wear the red. The red coats are coming. Oh, there we yeah, go. We finally, we go. it finally makes sense. Thank I'm British as God. hell today, dude. I was throwing uh, spirals with the football Thank underhanded. God. Yeah, <laughs> the most were, English thing. We're trying to teach him. You but. can do. Should we talk about uh, Friday Night Lights so far? I'm I'm episode down. Where, six? where are we starting? We're at episode six. Andrew, close your ears. Um, <laughs> Andrew, okay, and first off, Andrew hasn't started. I mean, he's busy. He's busy. Is he? We appreciate Andrew even for making it out here to pull up anime American but guys. The, whenever on the Andrew's for us. busy, it means soon he won't be busy. Dude, okay, that third photo that is, is my favorite photo of all time, I'm pretty sure. I was gonna make it my screensaver, but it's kind of wide. Eh. Yeah, you you well, you could naturally now they have AI that can fill in the rest of the photo for you. Oh, yeah. perfect. So that shouldn't be a problem. That is also a good one, the family. All right, we can't next. just be sitting here all damn day looking at Google Images unless it's relevant to I, what we're doing. Well, this is relevant. This show is, like, life-changing This show ha has us in the backyard on a Friday at dusk. We're all wearing the jeans. Pigskin. We're throwing the pig skin around, shirts throwing off. Throwing the blue pig skin. We're throwing the pig, the the skin that Colin did like dark magic on. He turned a, he turned a pig blue and then slaughtered it so that he could have a blue football, because he's a fucking dark magician. It was fucking beautiful tonight. We were we we're passing it around at dusk. Yep, shirts off. Magic. It was mosquitoes. Friday night. Magic Friday night. And lights, I felt, man. I really felt like somewhere in Texas right now. There's a rivalry going on, a rivalry game going on right now. There's all kinds of rivalries going on in go. Texas. Somewhere, some... I feel like it'd be impossible for me to be mad at you guys while we're playing catch. Yeah. If you and your 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 GF are on the rocks, just be like, why don't we step outside and th let's play, play catch? Let's, let's <laughs> just play catch. <laughs> why don't we throw the football around Catch a is a bit. good thing what to do. What would Coach Taylor do? Did you play catch with your pops? Saying. Coach um, Taylor, though, is kind of a... He's unreliable a little bit. He's not always I on the money. Holler, I think he played. doesn't have a son. That's his problem. He's Coach Taylor? Yeah. Well, you think he would be better at his job if he had a son? Yeah. I think that him having a daughter means that he has to balance his football life and his emotional side, you know, and it makes him but a more well-rounded human. In one human. of the episodes that we watched, yeah. he went to his daughter's dance recital... And yeah. that was one of the cutest goddamn things I've ever seen. He was all giggly. Him and his wife were like, oh, my God. And fucking Saracen was there. Saracen was there, all right. Saracen yes. had a fucking boner oh in his jeans God. at dude. that dance recital. And dude, that shit was so funny. He goes, I think I just told that kid to get our daughter in the back of a car. I, I expected him to handle that worse. I expected him to go like little puffer fish, like masculine. He respects the hell out of Saracen. He does like Saracen because Saracen does what he says. Well, well, that a, but Saracen's got to be the man of the house because his, his grandma's got uh, dementia yep. and his dad's in fucking Iraq. He's got to be the man of the house, and Coach Taylor respects the hell out of him. Yeah. He works a job. He, he goes he, and he leaves it out on the field. And he's a noob. I know. He's and, juggling and a lot of different just responsibilities. So I was just thinking about like if you were hearing this and you didn't watch the show, you wouldn't know that Saracen's like the biggest noob ever. Yeah, he yeah. is. He looks he's, he's he was got the backup face quarterback. Hard. He, he was a backup it, quarterback that like got put in because the star quarterback got taken out of the game uh -huh. uh, they know this they know this yeah our but watchers we're, we're, know this yeah yeah they should they know um god damn do i have a lot of respect for saracen me too i like saracen as well i like saracen as much as the next guy and that's why i think coach taylor would be happy to have him fucking his daughter I don't know if he'd be too happy about that. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I don't think he's too not happy. Holding maybe hands. in season four or five. Maybe holding hands. I was you. You were talking about that dance recital. That had me thinking about like dance recitals. Maybe, this is one of those things that I feel like society is opening its eyes on. But like those uh, teen and then preteen girl dance recitals. That's some demonic shit. Yeah. Putting like girls in tights and having them like and just performing for a bunch of probably pedophile it was, judges. Giving it was them num awesome numbers. when I was in high school. Well, yeah, you're allowed in high school. Yeah. 
you, the high school boys, should have been judging those performances. That's true. Not weird bald guys. No, that's true. I don't like the whole like dance cult, like the conventions. Oh yeah, the... it's all that's all a big like it's cash all grab. A big, it's a yeah. disgusting it's all a big industry. Scam. It's yeah. like you get scammed for like ten years or whatever. How long you're in the dance game, and yeah. then you become a teacher or you become involved in the conventions. It's like it's insane. Yeah, pyramid scheme. It is a pyramid scheme. Yes, but for some reason. Tis a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think pyramid schemes were invented yet when people were in cloaks. Tis a prism scheme. <laughs> a prism scheme. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I have to fart really bad. Kay. I'm just going to do it. Oh, what the hell? I'm man? sorry, dude. You saw how many beans they put in my bowl. Beans on boast. There's so many beans they put in my Chipotle bowl. Okay, so I wrote this oh. down a long time ago. Jesus. and. <laughs> I've, oh I, fuck! We, <laughs> dude, you it's know? necessary. You're gonna need to use your Jesus Chinese cloak. Your Chinese, this way. your Chinese cloak to filter that fart. So the um, Whew, my I shouldn't have let that rip. That's my bad. We're yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, disoriented Johnny. now. I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I can't smell it, and I don't. I'm just in fe living it, in it fear. It might dissipate of it. by the time it I'm reaches the neck in of the fear. woods. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm living in fear right now. Just live with your, your nose and your Heineken it bottle. It feels like it's going to be in the air for a while. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not going to um, linger, I promise. I swear, Red Cloak's promise. It won't linger. <laughs> That's not a trustworthy promise. <laughs> Don't trust a Red Cloak. I put it on my um, Red Cloak family. Where did I hear uh, the business of revenge from? The Where did I hear that? Revenge? The business of I mean, but revenge. Someone oh, oh, oh. Where Princess is Bride. Princess Bride. Oh, yes. Um, did he say he, that there's He's no... They, he, goes, a, he goes, why are you working for this asshole? And he goes, not much money in the revenge business. Yes, yes. Wow, Colin knows that film. And so, okay, but, but we talked about... Because we talked about this. I want there to be money in the revenge business. There is money in the revenge business, I think. You're like as a, as a uh, hitman? Oh, no, not like that. I But I want to pay people for their petty revenge schemes, you know? I want to fund their petty revenge schemes. So in Princess Bride, uh, his father was killed by someone and he wanted to return the favor. A guy with six fingers on his left hand. Yeah. And so I what want to fund you know people's revenge schemes. I don't like British media that much all the time. Sorry, you're saying? I want to fund people's petty revenge schemes. Okay. Like go so, fund me? Go revenge me? Go avenge me? Uh, go avenge me or something that along those lines. That is a good lines. idea. No, it should be like crowdsource funded. Hey, I need $10,000 to get back at my ex-girlfriend. Exactly. Um, to like take out an ad in the paper, like a billboard ad. Yeah, in the you paper. can't do that though. Then she'll see it coming. Uh, it doesn't matter. It could be kind of okay. anonymous. I don't think it matters all too much if they see it coming or not. If there's a big billboard that says <laughs> "My ex girlfriend is a bitch, uh, a cheating." No, bitch. then she'll have to make a post that says, "My ex boyfriend is trying to make buy this billboard. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this billboard and the one next to his house." Well, whoever. Uh, Comes to me with the more intriguing offer. Offer. Mm, I see. I will fund your petty revenge schemes. You know. Back in the Game so, of Thrones how, times. What kind of thing would you be doing, oh. though? I'm confused. I'd be putting up money for people to pursue revenge. No, but I know. But like, what kind of revenge? Like, I don't know. What would you do? The, they have to come up with their pitch to me. Oh, like, dude. oh, you better help with these pitches if you're getting paid. No, I'd come I'm to you not as getting a paid. revenge consultant. No, I'm not. No, I'm not getting paid. I'm funding their revenge. They come to me. They say, "This is what I want to do to get revenge on this person," and I put up the money for it. Okay. I'm a benefactor. Petty revenge just, is I, cool. What or kind of even idea that would require funding? Like what sort of re like? Because usually it's revenge. I don't know, a is billboard simple. above their work or oh, something like that. You know. A billboard above their work. Mm. There's like ads everywhere. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, 
Um, billboards. Uh, billboards. Yeah. <laughs> Advertisements. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't. I'm not a. I'm not. It'd be kind of uh, cool to like take somebody's take, take somebody's car and then like if you if you really generate a lot of money like. When they park at work, like then you swap out their car with a, the same car that's like nine percent smaller, or something like that, <laughs> and now, then do that every day. Well, you yeah, until, yeah. <laughs> so they got a Hot Wheel outside their job. See that that's like that's yes. that's revenge that would wow, cost some really money. That, see, there you go, there you go. That's that red cloak brain, dude. Uh, yeah, if, I, my people are well versed in the art of revenge, dude. They were, if you wore a red cloak, you'd be after revenge yes, for sure. That's a revenge cloak, right yeah. There. This is a revenge. Color. Mine is like the helpful benefactor of the. You revenge. look like a healer in yeah. that green. Yeah, I feel like it. Yeah. No yeah. wonder you couldn't come up with any spiteful yeah, ideas. I know. That's not your style. Not... If I give you this red cloak, though, I could come up with several. Things will change. <laughs> Colin Several, looks like he just would stab somebody in yes, the back Colin's, for his revenge. I'm in the business of murder. Or he'd like give their dog like a terminal <laughs> disease. <laughs> That's a black cloak move. Yeah. Some, Turn their boyfriend into a frog. That's or, a green cloak yeah. move. Is it? I think so. Because that's kind of funny. A polymorph. Ability? More than revenge. Yeah. I would, like from Game of Thrones. We already talked about this before, but just the ancestral rivalry yes, concept yeah. is something that... Oh, yeah. We got to bring that back. I need my dad to hate a dude, and then I hate that dude's son, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to birth a son that will beef with that guy's son. Yeah. Did did I tell in the... In football would be cool. That would be awesome in football. Did I tell the story, though, of like somewhat of an ancestral rivalry that I had with this kid in high school? No. In my PE class, this kid came up to me one of the days and he goes, Your daughter come over to my house. She kicked my dog. <laughs> she kicked my now dog. My dog need operation. <laughs> no, he comes up to me. He goes, Hey, are, are you so and so's son? And I go, Yeah, I, I am. Well, like, why? And he goes, Oh, our, uh, my dad and your dad got in a fight uh, like way back in the day. And, uh, my dad bit part of your dad's ear off. And uh -oh. my dad has like a chunk missing out of his ear. Hmm. Really? Um, piece together the puzzle. More. And uh, and Did that's my out ancestral of his rival. You? I so should you hit him up and this like you should you should have bit a chunk out of that kid's ear. That's true. Mm, I should have What are they going to do? So take you to court? Take in two bits of his ear. Oh yeah. Leave him in debt. Yes. Then he is his son would bite three bits of ear off my son. So the so cycle false. of violence would continue. It's just a crazy thing to say to someone. Like, why would you bring that? Well, up? I thought you were gonna say like, and then he kicked me in the shins or something. No, no, he just he said just, that. Like, tur like whipped his cloak around and yeah, left. he whipped his red <laughs> cloak around and then left. That was it. That was well. End yeah, of that I was guy. like, oh. Uh, Okay, and then that was it. That was it. And, and then, then did I, you go to your pops and ask him? Yeah, I said I met the the kid's son who bit the ear, and he, he said, said, "And you didn't stab him, <laughs> <laughs> and you did not avenge my lost ear." Uh, no, it, it just kind of ended there. Well, he kept trying to like be friends with me, but I did. He was trying to get close to you yeah. so he could pull an ultimate yeah. betrayal on your ass. So he you could think. avenge his father, yeah. Well, let's see if my dad wants to get revenge. You maybe. should look this guy up on Facebook. He probably has three kids by now. Probably. And then you could take them. We need to start getting hostage. you a son soon. We need to like get the, mm. make sure the timelines. I know the same. Johnny does need a son soon. Probably. Yeah, you're kind of bored. <laughs> <laughs> A son would fix things. For I know me. Johnny wouldn't be on the goddamn League of Legends. Soraka Do you think you so suffer much? from gaming addiction? Yeah, uh, I think. I don't think it's an addiction. I think I need <laughs> to. I need, addicted as hell. I need to get somewhere, and then I can quit forever. Yeah, get I, somewhere. I, I need to get to a, my certain rank that I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to reach diamond Dude, in League is, of Legends. You need to get one really good high. I know. I'm just saying. And then this you is, can quit forever. This is addict speak 101 right Dude, here. I I'm I hate the game. Uh huh. May, yeah, maybe That's I'm addicted. Addiction. Yeah, but I really badly want 
to not I just to need not the play anymore. sweetest, but fattest I, bong rip ever. Well, I just want to reach a goal. I just want to reach a goal. Yeah, that the I have. sweetest, fattest bong rip. Yeah, maybe. What if you never? What if you never reach it? You're kind I'm of going to an emerald. I'm going guy to. right now. You're wearing a green. Yeah, that's, cloak. A, that's like four really good days away from from four being, really good days. Four really bad I, days away from being. Yeah, that's true. Not four really good days away from where you are right now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh. I don't, I don't know, know. Johnny. I don't know. What if? What if? I never. You're as high as you're ever gonna get. Then um, what if you already did really good? Yeah. Good point, Colin. What if you already? I didn't. What, what if I you already? Su- over, I suck so what bad. What if you already overachieved for what God gave you? I suck bad. God did not make all of us diamond gamers. Yeah, but I'm going to be. You're trying to be something. You're. You, see, let me ask you this, Johnny. Do you believe you're a diamond gamer? Yeah, I, I believe I can get there for sure. I believe right now. But don't I'm, you think if I, you were I a can, diamond gamer, you would have been diamond by now? Don't you think, Johnny, that think you right need now, to I'm get lucky to be than, a diamond gamer? I, I need a little bit of luck. I think you need a lot of luck to I be don't. a diamond gamer. Because you've had or, this goal already. Or you can just get out now and be like, I never really actually tried. Okay. Maybe mm-hmm. I could have gotten that. No, that's really really not like true, though. 37,000 hours. For the I last, never really gave for it the a last, good try. I don't know how long, but I've never had, like, an extended chunk of time to just, like, grind it out. And since I have started <laughs> doing... Well, I, I would always, it's like, always cap... three months, and then the fourth month I have to do something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, no. It, like, Somebody when I was breaks their foot or something, work, and I have to, like, take them to the hospital. When I was touring for work and stuff, I would leave mm-hmm. for months at a time, and then you lose, like, all your progress of, like, actually getting better I'll tell you what, stuff. man. I got into this jujitsu thing and kind of fell out of the three days a week I was training before, and it's just, you just lose it so exactly, fast. Exactly, yeah, it's just consistency is the key, but I think you've always been consistent. I haven't. <laughs> I have not always been consistent. So you and made I'm, it to, you made the it to the Emerald progress. 3? Uh, yeah, I'm seeing the most progress I've ever s- uh, seen right or now. Or is it that they change the ranks around and you no, have, the, no, 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 you have no. the perception of being closer they, than ever? They, Maybe. they manipulated you they, into they getting They invented re-addicted. a new rank. I'm, I'm, <laughs> right now, I'm the equivalent of what was Platinum 2. So I'm like, what was two ranks away from Diamond MMR wise? I think you're. If you ever make it into that Plat One equivalent, I think they're gonna pillage your ass. Oh yeah. I think they're gonna okay, butt well, fuck we'll you see. into next we'll, week, we'll Johnny. See. That's this, what I this think. This is exactly is why I wanna. I think you need myself. to win the damn lottery to make it into Diamond. Okay. Okay. Whatever. If if I make and it into Diamond, Co- you're that's a red say, coat's promise. You're gonna say that it was just lottery. What lottery? Like, if I make it into diamond, you're just gonna write it off as you got lucky. I'm giving, does I, that, dude. Does that make it more likely? I'm giving that you, you some. Quit? I'm giving you some no. juice right now, Johnny. Oh, I'm I'm getting to diamond. I don't. All right, guys, we're gonna do this new segment where jo- Johnny plays his game right there, mm-hmm. and then we're screen capturing it. Me and Joe are sitting right here on this. Yep. Uh, we can chair do that right tonight, here, even. And we're uh, we're doing like live commentary on, or we can be in a different room. We can be at our homes, whatever. We can be in that closet, but we're basically <laughs> gonna live cast Johnny's I, solo queue yeah. games once he gets into like God, the red hot that, zone where he's like close to. When he gets like, what's the most angry you get when you're about to rank up? Have you ever broken anything while gaming? No, no. Really? No. I'm I've not spiked a, a I'm controller a before. Yeah, and he, I regretted it friend, immediately. It was my friend my best Christian is a controller. My friend Christian breaks has gone through controllers. Sober guy move. Yeah. Ooh. yeah Got no outlet. Yeah. I never. I don't break shit. I've like, never. I slammed this elite Xbox controller. Sometimes yeah, never. I slam the desk. <laughs> That is a call and move. Yeah, Damn I've done it. that. I've done, <laughs> and it sounds smack. Well, it sounds a little more dramatic than it really is. Yeah. Well, that one is like kind of worse because yeah, it sounds bad, and then you got to be anyone in the house. You got to be like, sorry, wasn't well, that bad. Well, the problem is I'm a game in the kitchen. Yeah, it's a cavern so in there. So somebody's like cooking, and I slam my desk. It's like, oh, maybe I should be like an adult now. <laughs> yeah. And not game in the kitchen, or not slam your your fist. I don't know. Really both, honestly. I think, Colin, at this point in your gaming career, you might as well just start playing on an iPad. 
<laughs> after a day of work, dude. I play TFT. Like that's what I'm like saying. Good, yeah, but I can't. I'm too good for iPad. Are you? Yeah. Do you think that there's iPad not a, an 11 year old in the Philippines who's equal to your rank on the iPad? Maybe. I mean, but there's I, a, iPad holds iPad you back. iPad is nerfing you. It does. In TFT? It does, yeah. yeah. All right. For sure. I mean, it's like, I think you it, can get good enough on the iPad. The TFT is strategy, but then there's like APM moments. And it's like, if you take away, mm. you can like play like a very non apm -y game play style, but it's like, you can't like go all, like, like there's like a point in TF, a TFT game. This is so boring for everybody. No, but no, you good. can basically go like, Okay, this is it. I'm fucking full sending right now and like 30 seconds of like fucking like rolling your like board uh -huh. and trying to make shit happen. You need to like make your whole thing happen like very fast in like 45 seconds. I don't know the specifics, but there have been times in my I have a I'm a new Nintendo since there's I bought I think I bought the Nintendo Switch right as they announced that the Nintendo Switch 2.0 was coming out. But I'm a Nintendo Switch owner now and there are downsides to like handheld gaming. Oh yeah, it's fucking awful. There's there are downsides, but also if you ever just like get on the couch, you're real comfortable. I feel like the fact I'm not sitting upright, I can be really locked in from time to time, just like full comfort, you know, like looking up at it. I kind of like it for for some games. I used to like every year, like around spring or something. I would fucking get... fidgeting over there, <laughs> yeah, dude. Can you it stop sounds like that? there's a dog with an allergy <laughs> in the corner. Just kidding, it didn't bother me. Um, <laughs> I just noticed it. It didn't bother me. <laughs> uh, I used to like once a year, like fucking pull out the DS and like play fucking Pokemon all the way through and beat it. Yeah, the and DS I loved handheld gaming like in that sense, but I never mm -hmm. got the 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 Switch. But I'm gonna get the Switch too because I'm actually kind of liking Smash Ultimate. Right yeah, now. I was going to do I, I was thinking I'm ready that. to play right now. I beat, I, I'm not playing tonight. Joe, we we went back and forth a bunch. It well, was a competitive day. Before we us. recap that um it was a competitive day and I'm going to fuck you tonight. Um yeah, well, let's fucking What happened? The uh, over I'm down to drink if you guys act like actually want to party tonight, but I haven't had any booze for like a month and if I get wasted on vodka and you guys are like I'm cool with the Heineken, then I'm going to be pissed. I'll drink. I'll I'm take a shot. I'm not trying to party. Right yeah. Okay. If you're not trying to party, then beer. let's let's save it for a different night. I have one of these bad boys. What are they gonna do with the new Smash? Like they there's, already, there's 50 are they gonna characters. do a new Smash? Well, that's what I was thinking. If they there's do, more than there's like a hundred. I'm saying there's so many fucking characters in that game. What do you even do? Okay. The thing that's annoying about Smash is that they. Uh, they took melee and they like dumbed it down, where they like nerfed the whole game and all of its physics, and then they just introduced broken characters. So There's, instead of like broken insane. mechanics, it's just like a quarter of the new Smash games cast is just turbo broken, more broken than anything they've ever made in any of the previous games combined. It's insane. Yes. Well, I think they really like designed it for the casual, the casual fan. Big time. Like, so, I don't know, like, we're playing Sora. I don't know if we talked about this. Take this on the fucking... Oh, yeah. The, you can just side B Auto three locking. times in a row. You don't have to do anything. If that were in Melee, that would be, like, the sickest... Like, to accomplish something that even re resembles that with Captain Falcon, it takes, like, minimum five months of just grinding, grinding yeah. thy ass off. And then to replicate something that is similar, like, a triple aerial combo, like... It just th pressing side B and then hitting B three times. You don't even have to change the direction of it. It just automatically. It's crazy. Kazuya's jab combo too is like I think it's like thirty. Johnny, I Johnny think it's like this, thirty something percent. It was the craziest percent. thing I've ever seen. It felt like a final smash like move. Yeah, I was like, what Dude, was they, that? And Johnny they goes, do that oh, with some of the moves. Combo. They'll like do cutscenes now. I'm not even opposed <laughs> to like. I'm not even opposed to making the characters like easier ish yeah but like these moments of like f manufactured epicness where it's like oh something crazy is happening yeah. but it's like you can repeat that like literally every single time and it's supposed to be like this cinematic finish it's i'm like, like this evo sucks. grand final Dude, I yeah think, i think like, he's like oh yeah, yeah, it's like a wombo combo 80 times per game. Yeah. I think his jab combo does like 30% or something like that. 
it's actually absurd. It is disgusting how jab combos kill, uh, but I was thinking about this. I was like, it used to piss me off how dash attacks killed, but at the same time, there are moments in that game where you've just been squabbling with somebody for like four attack, minutes and a dash yeah. attack kills, and you're like, fuck, fucking yeah. God, <laughs> well, you, died. Well, like, yeah, when you're playing, there's like so many characters that just don't have... Finishers? Like a, like a viable finisher. Right. Wait, yeah. what, is, what is it? Um... Right now, like with but then a lot of them have nine yeah. viable finishers. With yeah. character design, right now we're in a post-capitalism. Right now, <laughs> like every every legal legend, yeah, yeah, sorry, late stage capitalism. Yeah. Every character is like, like, what if a character couldn't move but like only did like ninety range skill shots that killed you in one shot? Well, the the, the other about my thing Samus that they bro? do now yeah. is they. Like with Pyra and Mitra, they do oh like a, ca a character that names. like does Pyra the does ha is like a character that doesn't have any kill moves, and then they and then you switch to a character that is only kill moves. I dude, I that's that B that press B thing yeah, that press darts B thing. around yeah. all over the place. Um, all right, we should get off gaming. Yeah. I think we've been game gamer talking for a while. I was watching. Um, what the fuck was it? I was watching some Star Wars show with Goog, and there's like I think there's like twenty Star Wars shows now. Or yeah. Star no, Wars they're trying to marvelize the Star Wars. A hundred percent. But in every single one, there's a fucking sassy robot. Oh in every my God. single oh, in Star, Star Wars, Wars every every series, every episode every everything that they make there's a f a sassy robot just they because they got the same formula it's yes exactly there's a sassy robot there's like a cute like little mystical creature oh god there's I'm gonna shit myself we want me to fart into the no, heineken no, bottle <laughs> give me the fucking bottle opener motherfucker <laughs> this like i thought you were gonna like why don't you, you use your fucking powers this is, and summon this is, it dude this is our sassy robot like <laughs> uh, a little name? robot. It, Gizmo. Gizmo. Dude, open my it's beer. the same. It's it's the kids movie formula, but they do it now f like for adults that still yeah. want the same story told to them that they've heard their entire it's lives. For, for JFs. What is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was thinking of something <laughs> with a slur in it or something like that. Oh, <laughs> no. That is Believe becoming a that. slur of its own. But yeah, for, for play, the, play the intro music. <laughs> yeah, play the intro music. For don't that. play that intro music. I don't want to see that intro <laughs> music on GarageBand right now. Um, yeah, it's it's un it's unbearable though. Like, it, cause it, it's like the the least funny shit ever to just have like a sassy robot that goes, well, that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> you know, like it's just like. It's so after you dodge up. like fifty meteors. Yeah. Well, we're Gotta lucky to have made these. that. Well, did one you see out. how bad? Wait, like, wait, the... wait! Don't turn me off. No, I don't. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> the worst part about the new Star Wars shit is like them. they're uh, they're they're like with the new shows they're featuring celebrities yeah. in the Star Wars oh, universe. God, that's disgusting. Like Lizzo dude. and Jack Black and. Build. Lizzo's in Star Wars? Oh my god, it's the worst episode of god, Mandalorian. There's really also fat joke. lesbians in every single really? show, too. Yeah. Is Lizzo a fat lesbian? I know, but there no. are also. What kind that, of powers too. does Lizzo have in Star Wars? She was like royalty. Really? So she just like sits in this, a chair and this tells crappy, people what to do? Yeah, this is crappy planet where they <laughs> just. Crappy planet. Lizzo, the queen of a crappy chilled. planet. She was one of the Hutt's relatives. <laughs> I did. I was waiting for that, dude. I was like, oh, is she Jabba the Hutt's girlfriend? <laughs> but I didn't do it. You did it yeah, for me. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. I um, appreciate Thank God. that. Thank God Joe Drink didn't have something, to do that. Drink something, motherfucker. Uh, dude. Aren't you, you thirsty don't, over there? You don't understand. I'm having uptime energy, bitch. Yeah, drink. Uh, Why don't you top it? that uptime off with a little bit of Tito's? Yeah, do it. Come on. I, okay, I'm saving myself for. I'm like, just worried about how good you're getting at Smash by never playing. Drunk. I, you guys don't understand that I've been struggling with a mental disorder. Okay. Yeah, and, so have I. 
Okay, but mine gets mine's made worse, not better, the next day by alcohol. Oh God, Johnny, Johnny, trying to put, <laughs> put it back, pass it off it on was, me. It was delicious. Take it. It was delicious. Here, I'll hold it. I'll hold it and I'll think about it. Um, Johnny said, "Let's get Tito's for old time's sakes." All we've been drinking was good tequila for like the last that three years. Delicious. Yeah, and you guys are becoming spoiled right. rotten. Yeah, we are. <laughs> the crazy thing is, I go, I've, I've been saying like, dude, like a good tequila is like. 50 bucks for 750 milliliters uh-huh. like such a good value and then i realized good old Tito's, was that like 15 dollars 17 bucks <laughs> that was 17 <laughs> can you believe it that's a deal <laughs> that, that, that's it? like that they're like the costco of booze <laughs> yeah like we're we like, ain't fucking changing they, our prices not it. affected by inflation whatsoever <laughs> nope Nope. If anything, those prices have gone they, down. It's because they made all their shit probably five years ago. I don't know how alcohol works. <laughs> so I don't think they're uh their costs have Colin, gone Sometimes up. Colin's bits sound like stand up. Colin's good. Love it. Or, I don't know how alcohol works. Mm. Colin's good. Yeah, I wasn't earlier, but I'm getting a little bit better as my uh as Buzz a little bit more goes. oxygen gets to my brain. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna rip this. Buzz this is gonna be my review of Tito's handmade vodka. You used to only drink this for eight years. Yeah, guys, I didn't. I had like a strict no hard alcohol policy. I've probably talked about this, but wow. And then I started hanging no, out with we'll these guys, you, huh? and and they were just ripping Tito's. You had no hard <laughs> alcohol. I yeah. I used to. I used to not do it. I thought you were a badass bitch. No, I well, I I drank too much. Like I would get so fucked. Up. I he was like Riggins. Well, Wait, what is do. the point of that? Just getting like smashed, but being like, at least I got smashed on beer. No, I like drinking. I could. I think beer like forces me to pace myself, which is something. Yeah, I'm but not that's not super something good at. that you should even be a concern when you're a beginner drinker. Yeah, it wasn't, and <laughs> then I got too smashed off fucking hard alcohol for a long time. And then we did go hard. And we then, used to well, every bosses. weekend we get the 1.5 or mm-hmm. of Tito's. Well, we also best I, value in the game. I have a yeah. photo of us um, drinking some Pinnacle in in my room at my dad's house. Yeah, we we copped like two Pinnacles. I don't know if you were there, Colin, but Johnny and Keith were definitely yeah. there. <laughs> and I was holding the weights. Yeah, that was yeah, a cool. Yeah, that was a cool night. I, we need to start taking photos more often of the shit we're doing and just archiving it because yeah. that was probably a total inconsequential evening. But I think about it all the time because so we took badass. a picture. Yeah, shout, out that pinnacle. shout out to Keith real quick. Keith like got this. Uh, what was he doing? Like some sort of uh, loan mod shit. Yeah. Like he dropped something he real dropped gray out of area. High school. Something fishy. It was very making gray like area 50 money. grand a year at like age eighteen doing like loan mods. And every weekend that all it took was his the soul. homie had us drinking Grey Goose every weekend. When oh, we were he like balled 18. out for the boys. It was yeah, so awesome. he did ball out for us. It, it was like no questions asked. Sort of like I'm like, balling like, out for us with these cloaks. Yes, similarly, <laughs> similar but to not, the cloaks. Not quite yes. as generous. Um, <laughs> once, once keep Keith, the cloaks coming and maybe no, 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 Keith, no. Dear. When Keith, when you've never done anything as generous as when Keith. Just took us to Farmer Boys one time. That was cra- that was that was sad because we went to farm. This was back when thirty dollars was an insane amount of money. Yeah, it was it, like 40. not only it was inflation and we were younger. So thirty, we went to Farmer Boys. <laughs> it was that sounds normal now for three guys to get fast food. There was more. It, it, was, it must have been like forty dollars. I think it was thirty five. Is my recollection. Yeah. But we go to Farmer Boys. He's like, we all got guacamole bacon burgers. Yeah, and then the bill came. It was thirty five dollars. We're like, holy shit! And we're Farmer like, Boys like, isn't even good. Like, like my net worth I, is I'll twelve spend thirty five dollars by myself. Sometimes, dude. Keith yeah. was like, Keith was like, it's okay. And then he did, <laughs> and then he did it again the next weekend. He did. Oh he took us back. God. I swear to God, we, we Farmer Boys did two weekends in a row. Farmer I don't Boys know what sucks. Farmer Boys it's just is, the only so. place that was open around that no, time. No, 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 no. We were so happy about Farmer Boys that time. Don't you? Sh- don't you even say Dude, that. Dude, it's not good. I've we been were like, since. Yeah, I've been I since. ate a fruit yeah. bowl from Farmer Boys recently, and it gave me like crazy stomach pain. Farmer but. Boys thinks that they're Chick Fil A. They do. They think they're better than Chick Fil A. If you go into a Farmer Boys, they kind of act. Yeah, they act. Dude, like you get stabbed in a Farmer's Boys toilet. <laughs> I've, n- I've I don't know one in what Tustin, Farmer really Boys nice. is at all. The one in downtown LA is not nice. Okay, well, nothing in downtown LA is nice. 
besides, besides nice the restaurants. barracks. The barracks is nice. Is the it? barracks is, is in downtown, downtown LA. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, not downtown. It's in like uh, Bo- it's Boyle Heights or something. Should we? Prank it's pretty them? LA. We should we should toilet paper the barracks. <laughs> That's a big job, dude. That's a big. We're gonna need a lot of TP. Gonna, oh, don't yeah. they make those like we will gun? Or, well, not a toilet paper. We're gun? not gonna go no, up there blowers. with a gun. We're not showing up to the barracks with a gun. Oh, a leaf blower? Like you? Oh. You, you put it? You Wait, attach dude. one on the front? Who? Who does? Isn't that like a like some sort of thing that they do? Oh, dude, you know how they do those. Uh, those TikTok videos where it's like people that like paint curbs and shit like that, mm-hmm. and it's kind of just satisfying to watch. We should do that for just toilet papering houses. <laughs> the perfect PP <pee-pee> job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We should. So look this up is the a most this is a thirteen li- to fifteen pa- toilet paper job. Uh, <laughs> that can be our revenge business. Yeah, there we go. By the we'll, way, we solved it. Give us twenty dollars and we'll go TP someone. Twenty I, bucks, dude, dude! Come on, we're that doesn't kid, even cover farmers' yeah, boys for the sp- evening. <laughs> when I was a kid, we need hundred bucks for a TP job. We told this That's story. That's high risk. Right? I would, I would, uh, I would TP someone's house right now for a hundred dollars. Yeah, I would yeah, too. I would too. Um, I'd probably if, do. Did I tell you when we used to TP under a thirty-minute drive? Me and my friends oh, used to TP drive in random, random yeah, no, houses. No, we got so bored. <laughs> you would TP random Ooh. houses. We got. <laughs> Damn, you just you were rebels with no we, cause. We know we were like, oh my god, this house has insanely huge trees. Let's <laughs> TP. This it. is TP. It was like that crazy twelve-year-old summer. Yeah, like, well, I had I one know. of those. They wrote about us in the Daily Pilot. Shut up. Really? They wrote about us in the Daily Pilot. There was like a, there was like a, a Some adult toilet was paper steaming writing an article spree. about you guys. There was a spree. They called a it spree. A toilet papering spree is going on. Dude, that's, we were teeping like three houses a night. That's sick. That's yeah. the way to do it on the weekends. That's yeah, the in way summer. To do it. <laughs> now we got. I remember when I was a young kid. The the thing that got me hooked is we got oh. one of my sister's kind of friends that lived in the neighborhood. Bleep him. Uh, <laughs> I know who you're talking about. Anyways, um, yeah, we toilet papered the shit out of his older brother, and and I remember of like not him. Uh, I remember. Uh, I was, the same the older, house. I was with the older kids. Uh, Colin loves being with the older I kids. I loved it. Me too. So much. The, what that's, even got us into Melee in the first place was the older kids. That's true, and you don't respect that sometimes. I'm just not. I don't respect it. You're coming around. Oh, uh, Anyways, <laughs> we toilet papered Brian, and the next day he posted on MySpace, and he went, okay, who toilet papered me? What the fuck? That was cool. <laughs> Imagine if somebody toilet papered you right now and you posted that shit on, like, Instagram. Dude, MySpace was so much cooler than anything else that exists right now. God, my Does it, anyone... What's wrong? Go I'm outside. trying so hard not to... Right hey, now, go dude. outside. I can't. Why? I, I, it's just, it's coming in waves. I'm sorry. Okay, Who would be okay. your best friend on MySpace right now, MySpace My best was... friend on MySpace? <laughs> Probably my... my fake girlfriend that I would make. <laughs> tequila, uh-huh. tequila. That's of course. Funny. No, like I had, I made a fake girlfriend on Facebook once when I was when I was a kid. Hell yeah! Shut Classic. Up. What she, was her name? Was she hot? Her name was Selena Smith. Was she sexy? <laughs> Damn. Smith is a, I Smith her, is a safe she, bet. I made her. Yeah, I know. I was like, I can't. I'm not gonna pull a McLovin so, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Common her, last so, name. Selena. Who, it was. Who are you C-E. pranking? I wasn't pranking anybody. I just wanted to seem cool and huh? be like. And I think she was like the photo I picked was probably like way too like a girl that was like seventeen and I was probably like, like twelve. Megan Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Megan Fox. No, that would not be that genius. But it was like I remember it was like a brunette girl in a striped tank top, and that was her profile picture. And I made her profile and I set it up where it's like, like help no you? information available. Yeah. Like no, you can see how many friends and where she was anything. It was just like Selena Smith. Um, and we were in a relationship on Facebook. Wow. Did it help you? Like, did it socially boost you? I don't think so. I think people probably knew that it was a Maybe falsehood not, on no. my part. I think probably crazy, most people did. Crazy I, shit I never happened caught back wind in the of day. It. You know, I, was, I think I would have known if this was one of your big lies. What was funny, I think this was pre Colin. Um, yeah. What was uh, another memory I have from uh, Waldorf is. I got this Volcom hoodie, like the ones that kind of looked bape like. Yeah. And it was it was badass actually. It was white. My mom was a, a shareholder in Volcom when they were coming up. Mom's always been a shrewd businesswoman. But 
buys me this Volcom zip up and it's dope as hell. And I wear it to school the day after my birthday because I got it for my birthday. I don't know if I said that already. And like I'm sitting at the table and for some reason this used to be a thing like McLean and Bailey. I don't know if you remember them. They came McLean's. They came up to me. I used to love McLean. Wait, are they the the twins? No, 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 no. They were the new the uh, Corona Del Mar transfers. Um, <gasps> I don't remember. The, yeah, the transplant. McLean, his dad probably invented something. That fucking asshole. He invented being short and wide. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, but anyway, McLean anyway, shit. they come up to me. I'm wearing my new zip up, and they go, "New jacket." And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you, do you see yourself as not being cool back then? Yes, yeah, I did. Because you uh, could heel flip. Because I think, I think. Crazy, you didn't I know think that you heel have flipping a, was cool. I think you have a misconception of how you were I don't remember being cool. Yeah, and I also. I don't remember I also cool. have to say this because. I mean, I kind of ran with the whole Joa acting like I was his bully as a kid, but we all thought Joa was cool. I don't think I mean, you guys did. You could I, heal. I flip. thought you I were. You thought I thought cool. you were one of the. I thought everyone else at the school, in cl- every single person in my class, was lame. Yes, and then, you did have an incredibly lame and, class, but except for I thought for some reason I I remember you and Tristan being like. The two other kids that like kind of got it. The at normal the school. kids. I remember I, being I acknowledged thought, by that by the older kids. They were like, it, when I went to it. OSHA and it, the eighth grader kid was like, like, oh, there's only like two cool kids in your grade and you're one of them. And I was like, yeah, I thought you, so I thought much. you got, I thought you well, kind of okay. got it. That meant you know, so I much. I thought back that you were like, day. I thought you, because everyone there is kind of like a certain way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were ruining Joe's like, origin story right now. Well, well kind of. I do think I was. W- I definitely think you were I was in, weird. But we were kids. Yeah. We didn't know you were weird until we got adults, and then we <laughs> acted like we were bullying you, but mm, we weren't. I, no, I never said you were bullying I, me. I don't think, but I didn't fit in with you guys. I think if yeah, if you asked kid, people you, in your like, class if they thought you were cool or not, I think they would think well, that you were cool. Obviously, now they're going to say I'm cool. I can tray flip now. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. No, I, th- I can I switch tray flip sometimes. It, and, dude, I always I always liked a lot of the people in your grade. Like, I oh, yeah. Jesse I, I used lo- to think about that all the time. Like, thank God I'm not in Johnny's <laughs> and, class. I know, honestly. dude. It was fucked up. You had a like, whole group of suckers. That was, uh, that was my grade. A at, whole uh, group my, of nerds. High school. But or, I I got along well, I with you I or, <laughs> relatively I got along with Jesse and I got along with Tristan yeah 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 and and I kind of saw you you three in particular as like being the only ones that kind of got it Jesse was a bad of, bad kid Jesse, Jesse we're talking about Jesse James son the Jesse guy James who is Jr. D- descended from the cowboy who was descended from the cowboy Jesse James Jr. yeah yeah so. His dad his is like a pops? motorcycle dude. Those yeah. Are, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. He's He's married just, to Sandra Bullock. You know, just yeah, James. Sandra Bullock used to come Somebody, to our school. You know what? Yeah, as, a worker, as a sheet really? metal worker. showed up. As a sheet metal worker, I should have a little Waldorf bit more friendly. respect. Because they say Jesse James. I told somebody I was a sheet metal worker, and they go, oh, you know, as a sheet metal worker, I was thinking about it for about half an hour. And he goes, Jesse James. Jesse James is a sheet metal worker? Well, yeah. That's how he like made. Custom motorcycles and shit. He mm. was like a welder. Wow. That was pretty cool. But but you know those people like they just like they have like these like weird uh, I like templates and they like bang. You know they like huh? you saw mold Jesse metal. No, I, I still talk to Jesse. Really? So, uh, from time to time, he's, he seems like he's, he's schizo posting a, a little loopy. Oh, these he's days. schizo posting. It's awesome. He seems like he needs to make what, a couple which motorbikes side and is level he himself out. May I ask? Yours. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the dark cloak side. <laughs> he's in the black cloak side. Yeah, he's in the black yeah, cloaks yeah. for sure. He's a black cloak. We don't like his for kind sure. in the red cloaks. Yeah. We God, steer clear. The green cloaks are diamond. Oh, he's not green cloaked. He's the, very far. He's closer oh, to red cloak than he is green cloak. Yeah, the 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 green cloaks are he's diametrically not opposed, but yeah. I still like keeping in touch just because I like yeah. keeping things. I'm a green cloak. You're a healer, you know? dude. I'm a You're a cloak. humanitarian. You gotta make sure everybody's um, okay. Uh, but yeah, I, Can you Joe, give me his I think you have a mis- like a I think you have a misconception on how you were perceived in those. I don't. Rem- I mean, maybe years. compared to your really dorky class, <laughs> I was considered kind of cool. But I don't think I always felt like I was 
like on the brink of understanding dopeness, but never quite achieving it. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but life it, is always like, like for me, it's just constantly like it feels like you kind of got it figured out, and then you're like, like for me, I think I was like fine in elementary school. I went to such a small school. Middle school, cool. Early ages of high school, just like I've had zero confidence, and then I like kind of figured it out. It, it kind of just goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Like there's no like, uh, I don't, I, I, there was no like aha moment. It just like was. Mm. I was kind of a titty fucking machine in high school, so that was my that was my golden period. <laughs> then post high school, not so good for a bit. Hey, you win some, you dim some. That's what I always say. That's facts. That's fucking so true. Yes. If you're listening right now, and you're dimming. And you're dimming right now. Sometimes hey, you're, you're gonna, gonna win. win some soon. And you if you're will. winning right now, just know that you could dim hey, it anytime. You yes. could dim some too, and that's okay. It's because right. you're gonna win some. Just be prepared again. to dim and, some. And yeah. I am me, Johnny and I say this so much. You win some, you dim some. Like tragic life events have happened to him. And I've said that, and he's just very been very understanding, and it's like really grounded him. I can't say it at work though. Like that's my biggest problem. You're get fired. I feel you like I you can't win some, express you dim myself because these people don't even know what dim sum is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. it is honestly true that like I win some, I dim. You win some, you dim some. Like it, it fucking changes your life if you if you live that way. Like anything can happen to you, and you just say you win some, you dim some, and it, like you. It you, can get it can get dark. Shit can get dark. <laughs> you can dim like, some imagine, a lot. Imagine worst case scenario shit happens to your life right now. Just go, you win some, you dim some. Dude, I was... I was <laughs> and it's fine I was, for some reason. I was talking to I don't know if this Alex. would get me through it. I was talking to Alex about that. Well, I was talking to... Because Alex was had suicide. <laughs> he's a teacher. To? My friend Alex is a <laughs> teacher. Um, we all know Alex. He's little, a teacher. Little Alex. He's a teacher. Yeah. The hell is he teaching? He's a teacher now. And, yeah, he's a teacher. And, Shut and up. And he, well, he's um, too scared to tell me anything about his life because I harass him. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he uh, he had like suicide awareness week or something, and and he was like talking to one of his coworkers about how like one of his friends, me, always jokes about suicide, and he goes, but sometimes I think he's serious. And I go, and he go, I go, what, what the fuck do you mean? Like, you know, I'm not going to do it. And he goes, no, but when you talk about like your mom, when your mom dies, you're going to kill yourself. I'm like, well, yeah, that's super, super serious. And, and he goes, well, Johnny, that just makes me sad. And I go, well, you win some, you dim some. And then he laughed really hard and everything was fine. That worked on Alex? Yeah, it worked on Alex. It works and on Dre. It works, works there too. It works on anybody, including your own mind. So give it a shot. Yeah, just live by the you Next win time some, you dim some Somebody comes lifestyle. to you and that's they tell you something That's how I'm going to put up terrible. with getting this red cloak. Yeah. <laughs> I've definitely, yeah. I'm definitely yeah. dimming you some dim right some. now. You, 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 guys, some. you guys win <laughs> some tonight. I dim we, some tonight. I'm winning some in this green you win. club. Yes, it's nice to win. <laughs> Whatever. Sometimes you dim. Drink, motherfucker. Come on, man. Are you guys fucking listening to this? Not only do I have to wear the red cloak, I have to take that hit. Yes, drink, please. I'll think God about damn. it. You're, I'm thinking you're about it. thinking about it? Yeah, I'm thinking about you're it. You're dimming some right now. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Let me think about it. Um, Holy sh! Are we? Are, sh are should we? I don't do know how long it's been. I'm assuming it's been three sh hours. Should we? It's do? It's been two thousand eight hundred fifty thirty. Oh my god! Twenty-eight thousand three. Two thousand eight hundred and thirty-nine uh, bits. Bit, bits of time. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Andrew, is a how's, bit of time? Andrew, how's your week going? Should we? Um, fuck. What about the hats? <laughs> The hats? Should we do the hats? <laughs> what are do... you talking about? I was just thinking we could rip the hats in like 15 minutes. Andrew, and that we could end on that. We could. <laughs> How are things going? This might be a little late, but can I tell my last TP story? Yes. Yeah, yeah, TP yeah, story, yeah. Andrew, please, please, man. Please, Why didn't Andrew? you do this We've sooner? been talking about we've nothing. Been please some. interrupt us. <laughs> we've been dimming some <laughs> for so long. I feel like we've been when, cooking, when actually. Andrew <laughs> speaks, the, the sea parts. This was the last time I went TPing. 
I was in seventh grade. And I used to hang out with this kid in my neighborhood. Who's what's like, his full name? <laughs> <laughs> his name's David. It was David. Oh, and we used to go kid. to church together. Yeah. Oh, okay. David from your yeah. church. Okay. Wait, you went to church? Yeah. It was he. How do I say this? He had a Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got sucked in by playing. kid named Dennis that lived across the street, and, and I, I was. Oh, he had I, the sickest gaming. Setup. I loved MVP Baseball 2004, and I went to his house, and I was like, "Oh my god, he's MVP Baseball 2005." <laughs> Andrew, Holy continue, continue. Shit, I, continue. I, I, I could talk Shut Dennis, up. though. <laughs> no, it's funny. Like, my memories of my early childhood are going to his church, playing Ice Age on the Game Boy, and then blacking out for three hours, nice. and then playing a Ice Age on the way back. But <laughs> he, he went to, a, uh, like, a high school near our house, and somehow he invited me over, and he was like, hey, we're going to... There's some, like, weird love triangle I'm involved in, and we're going to, like... <laughs> TP the the guy, the other guy. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, because he's encroaching that on my instead of killing him. The revenge business. <laughs> but yeah, he, you're a mercenary. He got like uh, <laughs> his friend's uncle to drive us to this guy's house. What? Yeah, in Whittier, and we're like driving for 25 minutes, and we go up this hill. And I remember it's about like 1 a.m. Wow! And we see like a cop car like invading a McDonald's and we're thinking like, oh, this is kind of ominous. They know about us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so just to set the scene. We but, tipped him off. <laughs> yeah. But we go up this hill in Whittier and we go up to a cul-de-sac and he's like, okay, the guy at the end of the cul-de-sac, it's his house. So we, we, we get all this stuff. We start TPing and about like 20 minutes pass. And one of David's friends says, it's too quiet. <laughs> and out of nowhere this van pulls up blocks the cul-de-sac no six guys way. walk out with bb guns <gasps> firing squads oh, no 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 dead serious way. and we all duck and they start shooting for three minutes straight yeah just like taking turns <laughs> shooting and, at you guys yeah shooting with, at wait, us <laughs> bb guns or yeah bb air, guns airsoft guns or bb guns i didn't ask them <laughs> But wow. I'm on the floor and I'm hearing someone scream. We've been set up. Wait, hold on. How old are you? I was in seventh grade. That's oh so my! Sick. So like twelve or so? Yes. Like, oh my god, dude! They pulled a full on like sophisticated war like uh, strategy on you guys. It, it felt like a war scene. It was. It How was did insane. they get a car? <laughs> A van and BB somebody gun. they had an uncle of their own, Who probably had that many BB guns. <laughs> no, a lot we of people had air had BB guns. guns, yeah, airsoft uh, guns, probably. Words. But I don't want to. That is sick. And then, how fucking... did you? Did well, you live? they left after they like finished their they had their way clips with you. or whatever. If yeah. I was you, I would open with this story with every person that I met. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I haven't heard this. It sounds this. fake. It's so good it sounds I fake. I didn't remember it until you guys brought up I the had gang. a fucking insane experience like that too like where we were going to go toilet we were looking for this kid Blake's house to toilet paper him <laughs> and we just we're driving through. Our friend's mom was driving us. It was like she Whoa, knew. Wow, that's we a were, little too cool of her. Yeah, she knew we were like the toilet paper guys, and her daughter had a had her birthday, and like her thing at the end of the night, she wanted toilet paper for somebody. Oh shit! Yeah, she like, it was her we, birthday. We were like wish. the toilet paper crew. Like she was like TP gang. Yeah, was she, she was like I need to get. Yeah, basically, and the mom took us. So we're going down, we're looking around in this neighborhood for this kid's house because one of them had like been to his birthday party or something and vaguely I'll remembered. I'll the house if I see it. Yeah, basically, I'll, yeah, it was over here. I think it was this one. And we're just driving around and we see like this massive group of kids. It was only like 7.30 p.m. on like a Saturday. Maybe eight. That's way too early for a TV. A little bit, a little, like the darker stages of dusk. This time of year, I don't remember when it was. And you guys are out TP. Anyways, anyways, yeah. Suicide well, we were mission. with a mom, so she didn't know all the rules. We usually went at like two, right? Yeah, like standard shit. But you know, we had to impress some seventh grade chicks, so <laughs> we were doing whatever I had to at the time. So <laughs> we go up to this. We're looking for this kid's house, Blake, and we go up to this group of kids that's like in the area. We're like, hey, where does Blake live? He's like, they're like, oh, Blake lives over there. Like, like, uh, you know, he gave us the address. 
So we drive over there. We just start TPing it. <laughs> and then they all just started chasing. There was like 12 kids. They all just started dead sprinting towards us down the block. Wow. And we all hopped in, got out of there. Same vibe as Andrew, though. Like, we, were, it was fucking insane. That was a flawed game plan on I, your guys' part, though. Yeah, Dude, but you I know what? Similar. It wasn't my game plan. It's cool they it defended their, their neighbor, their though. turf, yeah. Yeah, they were like, nobody fucking They were like, TP's hey, Blake. only we TP Blake. I had a similar vibe situation. We, we were in FP. Mm. We were uh, uh, duct taping the streets. Oh, the classic maneuver. The classic Nick maneuver. Nick Pomper put me onto that. Is that one? Of, that might be one of the kids that we're talking. There was two brothers that moved in, and we only hung out with them this one time because they were only allowed to this one time before we got into a fiasco with oh, them because God. of taping. Two yeah, kids taping moved will in get you in trouble. On the corner of. Uh, Wait, taping? Are you going to explain what Santa taping Clara. is? Some people yeah. might not know. So taping, you put strips of duct tape in the street. It wraps around the car tire, and it sounds like they have a flat tire, so they have to like get out of their car, and then they have to pull off the fucking duct tape from their car. It's yeah. a whole it's thing. It's just exhilarating, yeah. but it's very... But it's, yeah, you're it, it, it's like a minor somebody. inconvenience for a regular person, but when you're a kid, it's like the funniest shit ever. Yeah. Who were the kids that lived on... It might have been Flower and Santa Clara. There was two brothers. I don't and, know. And they were, they live in I didn't have a lot house? of friends, yes. Johnny. I know those kids, but I like they were kind of friends with my older friend's friend. They were like, yeah. ah, well, they were only allowed about. to hang out with us this one time mm -hmm. because we were duct taping. They came out duct taping with us the first night that they hung out with us. And we got chased by like teenagers in a car <laughs> what yeah through fp all throughout it like like they were chasing us and we were like jumping in and hiding in people's yards they're probably fucking with you guys yeah for sure they like they no, weren't they gonna do anything your ass. when i was a teenager i wanted to kill people but <laughs> 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 like 16 with the car we got yeah. someone's car and they like I I remember it being like a like like a war like scene in uh, my brain like my brother was boosting me oh, that's, over yeah. people's fences and shit like my that's like was, that's like it's the, insane that one fence like wasn't good enough to evade these dude, children they were literally like we would hear <laughs> that's cars what every, coming too everybody's been waiting for like Colin talking about like if I ever had to like stop a school shooter and I had a lightsaber. That's yeah, like the yeah. same type of thing you play. Like if I if it comes down to it, like this is my strategy how I get out yeah. of this. You know, like I'm hopping into like oh, Doug's oh, yeah, backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that in my mind forever. Like in my neighborhood, I'm like, if anything ever happens, I'm neighbor. I'm like wall hopping, and mm. it kind of pisses me off that everybody installed these cameras. Like that just killed the vibe. I don't <laughs> know like, I did if I ever vibe, if I, I I used to be a wall hopper in my neighborhood. Like my. My friend Cole lived like three houses down and then like on the other street over, like backyards facing each other. I lived right behind yeah, Cole. Yeah, yeah. Cole. You, right, lived, you lived right yeah. behind Cole. Yeah. Anyways, Flex. I would yeah, I would Flex. walk over. You're not acting very green right now. Johnny, let me finish my fucking story and You're then we'll spazzing, harass him. Dude. I'll help you harass him. See, this is why I don't drink. All right. So I would go through my neighbor's backyard, hop the wall to get to my friend Cole's house. Uh -huh. I didn't ask. No, no, no. But then their ask. kids would be like in our backyard sometimes. Yeah, that's they would be totally like, totally fine. They would, we would, it used to be a thing when we were kids to just get on like the wall that went through all the properties mm -hmm. and just crawl on it and just see like what happened. Dude, like a squirrel. Yeah. It's, it, I, I never had, like thought about it until fairly recently. It is insane. Me and Colin lived. And Joe, we all live in, yeah. in, in a, tr a very and on the same literally, block, half of a block. Literally, like yeah. from Joa, two and a half houses away. If you count like crossing backyards as a half, yeah, two and a half, and then Colin like four and a half. Yeah, and we never hung out in real life until after high school. After high school, but I, I mean, that's <laughs> you, dude. You want to say funny? All right. 
What? One time Faith said, like, she this has always perplexed her too. She's like, like, how did you not hang out with Johnny? Like, like, did you ever see him when you were a kid? I was like, I was like, uh, the mole on the face was weirder when he was a kid. <laughs> that was weirder. Because the ah. mole has stayed the same size. It, yeah. Your face is it used to take a more real estate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. It, and not that that actually <laughs> I, was a, I, 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 I never thought about I it. I will say it wasn't yeah. actually a factor, but yeah. it is something that, you're that mentioning I did think it. about that that mm. it was bigger back you then. You did grow into your mole. Oh, it, thank you. I hadn't even noticed your mole until right uh, now. I yeah. forgot about it. Wow, this is wow. like an Avril Lavigne thing when they replace Johnny, <laughs> they'll forget the mole. It'd be like after like three years of hanging out with him, we're like, Where's his mole? <laughs> I'm and Johnny's like, what'd you guys I, say? I'm like, hey, oh, guys, nothing. how's it going? <laughs> like, it's mole with yeah. Johnny. <laughs> I, uh, so I'm the only person that still has my... I still wife. have mine somewhere. <laughs> where? I don't in know where drawer. mine is. I lost it. Dude, the problem is I moved, and I just have stuff in boxes. We all... Have, I don't know where my all, DS is either. I've been wanting to play Pokemon. <laughs> we all bought these sniper gang chains. I bought them. Colin bought this. He did. It was a good gift. That was awesome. We should get more chains. That was a cool, like, uh, suburban white boy vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we were, the, we that were that highly enviable that? with those on, dude. We used to wear them. If like, you didn't have one of those and, you know, you were in our vicinity, you were definitely jealous that you didn't have one. Sniper gang Kodak. Yeah. We, good yeah. times. Should, we, should you show the cam? I don't I feel like people would have an opposition to that. Like Pull you guys up a are sniper wearing, gang chain. You guys are team. lame for wearing <laughs> sniper <laughs> gang chains, but at this we were fans of yeah, Kodak this Black. Was and I two thousand and uh when, when I remember Probably. the first time I heard Kodak and you put on um I think it was like John Wick or something. I did or Colin or, did. Someone did Colin and, was the big the go, main Kodak and, guy. And Kodak goes Damn, who made this beat? Cause I'm stealing it. And I <laughs> really, need the charger. And, and I really connected with that. Oh and, yeah, that was cool. And uh, I remember that we were in your back room, and when I heard that, I was like, "Damn, I really fuck with this guy." Kodak. Yeah. Kodak Black is. Yeah, actually, when when I when I say that Kodak Black's my favorite rapper, and like, people I think he rhymed that with the producer's pog. tag, because the yeah. producer goes like. I'm gonna be killing it, killing yeah. it, and then Kodak and goes, "Damn, who made this beat? beat Cause I'm stealing, stealing it. it, stealing it." Yeah, Kodak is, is, damn fun. He is such John an Wick. incredible rapper. He he really is, paints a picture. It feels like you're watching it, like you know his life yeah. from his music, and he's so genuine. He speaks and from he's the soul. Also, Dude, I, so fucking funny for some reason. Yes. I feel like I feel the same way I do about Kodak about like Waylon Jennings and stuff. When I watch videos about Waylon <laughs> Jennings, I'm like cracking up. I'm I'm laughing because he's like a funny guy. He just has it. He's Kodak talented. Feels like an outlaw, you know. Like you always, I I at least relate with like outlaw vibes a lot. <laughs> I I it likes I like to think I do. Um, I think that shit's funny as fuck. He's like an outlaw. I met, I have don't know if I've told the story on the pod. I just feel like I've said that a couple times tonight. But I, <laughs> I so met. The slate is wiped clean. I met Kodak's tour manager. Uh -huh. And Kodak had like a sore throat or something. Like had, <laughs> had, was like, I like, was going to have trouble singing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, like, do you want me to make you some like tea or something like that? And Kodak, Kodak Black didn't know what T was, <laughs> <laughs> which is That's just like the sweet. like funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Oh man, he's he, he's an original. There's not really there's is. not anybody yeah. like the Kodak best. right now. And, and if you're like like what, what do they listen to? Like how do I understand this better? Go, go listen to Heartbreak Kodak. Heartbreak Kodak is His one of the Valentine, best albums ever. He like would release albums for different holidays at a certain <laughs> point in his career, and his Valentine's Day <laughs> that's album that's a good album. Yeah, is is a good album. Legitimately an amazing album, but then it's just also fucking hilarious. Yeah, Valentine's Day, but I don't love you, April Fool is the best thing ever. That's kind of Genius. Lil Wayne-ish almost. Yeah. You know, like Lil Wayne would have like completely like a, this is my I was talking about this recently, but like the boring thing about rap right now is it's like 
I mean, it's always been like this to some degree, but it's like, you know, people copying other people, you know, just stealing dude each other's copying, lingo. Dude copying dude, copying dude, copying dude. Yeah, but, and then there's like dudes like Kodak Black, like when he said There's smoking. no dudes like Kodak Black. No, but I'm saying, like, Lil Wayne and Kodak Black are both, I think, really original. And when Kodak Black said, like, uh, I'm a healthy kid, I'm smoking broccoli, then like somebody immediately stole that from him. That's yeah. just like how rap works. Yeah, just Little steal. Yachty stole it from him. Where are you going? I okay. must pee as well. Can we let's please all, take let's a pee, all pee. break? Um, in our cloaks. Yes. Let's piss in our cloaks. Um. All right. Well, do we? Ha oh, should we? Let's. Should we hat? Do hats? No, I think that's that's a, a uh, standalone. Yeah, but why don't? Okay, so do you want to just wrap and then do hats? We're all here. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right. Um. Okay. Let's sing a song. I'm putting on my socks. Thank God. Closing time. They've been. They just took them off to mm -hmm. pee. I had to take off my socks to pee. <laughs> you could have stood in between. Joe, was, was, Joe was afraid to stand in between us to pee. Let's talk about that. I didn't want you to guys to see my penis right now. Too much in, in the red cloak. No, I don't want. I don't want the first time for you guys to see my penis to be in this red cloak. The first time. <laughs> That's sure. crazy, guys. If you're wondering, none of us. Have seen each other's penises. Yeah, and I think that's totally normal. I don't think Dude, you should be. be I don't think you should be a guy friend, a a guy friend group that sees each other's penises. No, that's weird. Chicks should be not... looking at each other's boobs. Yeah, that's oh, cool. Often. That's Why do you cool. want to hang out with Matt all the time then? Matt, well, I oh. have seen Matt's cock and balls. Well, that's Some, like a circus every, freak every sort group of appeal. Has, it's, it's fine to see. It's fine to see a penis, but yeah. it shouldn't be like a mutual one of your, exchange of one information. Of your best friends, yeah. You, if you're showing off your cock and balls all the time, if you're, that's not a re. You can't have any deep connections with someone who's like seeing your drunken cock and balls, mm. like passed out cock and balls. Yeah, we saw somebody's passed out cock and balls. Andrew, fire up the sensor. Do you have it on you right now? Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying him. is, hey, look at how, look at his deep connections. He doesn't have any because well, everyone's he, he seen his cock and balls. Himself. I don't think that that was because I, I saw his cock. I think it's cock and ball related. I don't think so. Same with I Matt. mean, maybe that explains why he's behaving uh, the way that he that, is. That, it's part of his deep shame. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm saying there's no cock and ball shame on my side. Maybe it's on his side. Yeah, no. I feel like I it's, if it's just it's one of those things, if you let it dominate, then it will. Mm. That's what I think. In, let's hear from Black Cloak. Black Cloak's always got something to say. He hasn't pondered this question in a yes. long time. It's been a, been a while. <laughs> Since you've thought about our friend's penis. Yeah, I, it's just once you see one of your friend's penises, it's just things are never the same. Nothing was the same. Mm. Okay. Either, yeah. Let's let's wrap this shit up, shall we, team? Good night. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. Andrew, you want to hit us with the uh, the music? Outro music, please. Um, please subscribe. Leave a like. And uh, Can we do a walkout with I'll, the cloaks on. Yeah, I'll work on some even cooler costumes. Uh, next time. <laughs>